It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday, December 30th, 2020. Number one, with an eye on their political futures, Georgia's U.S. senators have announced their support for an increase in stimulus checks. Locked in close runoff elections, Republicans Kelly Leffler and David Perdue say they're all for it. The U.S. House voted overwhelmingly Monday to multiply direct payments from the current $600 to $2,000. However, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell blocked the standalone stimulus increase bill from moving forward. It's not enough for Georgia's Republican senators to simply talk about supporting the stimulus boost They need to walk the walk less than one week before Election Day, January 5th. Number two, when the pandemic first hit U.S. soil and the nation was locked down, many of us struggled with isolation. According to a recent study, pets can effectively help people cope with mental stress during the pandemic. Out of 6,000 people surveyed, about 90% said their pet helped them cope emotionally with the lockdown. Even more, 96% said their pet helped keep them physically active. Number three, many Americans should be on the lookout for the second stimulus checks. However, millions more may be among the groups who don't qualify for the payment. Those who will not receive a $600 check in the second round include child dependents who are 17 years old, adult dependents, single people earning over $87,000, and married couples earning over $174,000. Overall, almost everyone in the bottom 80% of the income distribution in the U.S. will receive a check. Number four, Google fired a second top black female employee, diversity recruiter April Christina Curley in September. In a Twitter post, Curley explained how Google's hiring committee screened out HBCU students by leaving demeaning and insulting feedback, questioning the quality of education they received at their HBCU. Curley believes her holding Google executives responsible and her advocacy for HBCU students are what led to her firing. Number five, Before the coronavirus pandemic, black and brown restaurant owners were on the rise. In order to combat COVID-19, many restaurants have begun to issue dining bonds, which work like discounted gift cards that can be purchased now and redeemed for a higher value no earlier than a specified later date in order to help them stay afloat. This might prove to be a viable strategy for Black-owned restaurant businesses considering Black purchasing power reaches over $1 trillion annually. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Myra J., Stephen Hill, and Damon Williams as we discuss today's top headlines and more. What You Need to Know is brought to you by Black Voters Matter. Visit blackvotersmatterfund.org for more information. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.